Hello, Queen. Test your man, my beautiful queen, to check if he's your king or not. And it sounds terrible because it sounds like manipulation. Okay, I'm standing for communication skills, not manipulation. Many books I've been reading and listening to a few female coaches and about children, that children will do to you the same what you've done to them just to show you how it was for them. When you shout, when you scream, when you kick them, punish them, they will punish you back. They will do exactly the same. For me, as an older sibling, I was like, don't do the same. Be the good one. Don't show your emotions. Be a good girl. What a BS. There's no respect when you are a good girl. No, no respect. Because you're not respecting yourself. So I allow my man last year he's amazing by the way he's really amazing i can see him such a big potential it's just 20 years ago his woman left him and he felt like lost everything he got this way of being where we can shut himself down and be for two days not accessible it's like i cannot even use my third eye or anything to connect with him New Year's Eve, I could see him shutting down in front of me. Where I requested to have open communication, he truly shut himself down. And I know I was partially the reason for that. I could see him like walls and you know, there's no access. Instead of talking about his plan for 2023, like and using I, I, I am like, and me? <laughs> It's me. And I know a lot of you ladies dealing with that, with guy who cannot make plans with you or plans for you. I was doing the same things in my marriage. It was, I was begging for dates. I was begging for time to be organized. I was begging for trips to go together, two of us to be romantic, nada. And I said, no way, second relationship, I've got the same. And when we spent time, it was huge different at the time I spent with my ex-husband. I had this quality time when he could take the phone out and he was really with me, wherever we've been saying, together in this. So there was huge connection. It's like connection where we can distract the film and talk or make on the side jokes or make comments and we can talk. That was not available with my ex-husband. I had this beautiful connection and I have with my soulmate. The one thing was missing was just like planning, which was getting me crazy, planning together and organizing something together. Plus his time when he could shut himself down, that now he knows he needs to alter his way of being. Can you see the difference? Can you see the patterns? Like I had to say stop powerfully, show him how I feel when he's blocked like that. And he had plenty of time today to think about that. And then yes, we wait. We found a way to communicate again. And I'm very grateful for that. This man is my soulmate. So he said, I'm going to work on that. Let's work on that. I'm willing to ship this. I'm listening to you. I hear you. I see you. And he knows I'm standing. I said to him, nothing is wrong with you. I know you are bigger than that. Something happened in the past. We can work on it. And I encourage you to have as many victories over the past especially if you're coming out of long relationship. And that's why I'm here for you, show you what you don't like anymore. So you can say stop to that. Can you cope over and over and over with the same behavior coming from men who has got wounded feminine and wounded masculine energy? We spoil those guys. And that's because we needed to be, be good girl. The good girl gave us so many wrinkles, so many worries, so many disappointments. Shut our mouth for years and years and years. Stop be good girl. Start be bitchy girl. <laughs>